All right, today's video is on the Paratech MaxiForce bags or any lift bag for that, uh, for that reason. But we're gonna go over what can your bag lift? What can it actually lift? So as you can see, these bags are marked with the weights or the tonnages on the corners, but can they actually lift that? So Paratech recommends or says that no more than two bags. If you're gonna use two bags, smaller one goes on top, bigger one on the bottom, and you inflate the bottom one to make contact in the top. But they also say that they're only rated for one inch of lift. So how come, how is that? Why is that? Well, the bags are rated off of surface contact or area times operating pressure. So to show you what I'm talking about, we're gonna measure this, uh, this smaller bag here, all right? This uh, 12, model 12. And we're gonna go from the seam to seam. We'll say it's 13 and a half. Then we'll go from seam to seam and say it's another 13 and a half. We'll come over to our to our calculator and we'll go over the numbers. So we'll say 13.5 times 13.5. Right? Equals. And then we're gonna multiply by the operating pressure for these new bags. It's 150. So we'll say times 150 gives us a poundage. Well, this is in tons, so we'll go US tons. So we're gonna go ahead and divide it by two. Not 2.2, so two. And that gives us 13,668. And if you see the bag, we're at 13.7. So that's how they get the operating pressure. So what does that mean? That means that this bag, in order to lift this weight, all of the load has to be touching the bag. So for instance, let's say that this is the object we're lifting. Uh, you know, rail of a truck or a car or whatever it may be. This bag is only going to be rated for the area of the bag that's touching. So right now, let's say it's 13.5, and this is a, a two by four, so we'll go three and a half inches, all right? So this bag at one inch of lift, if we'll go back to the calculator, is going to be 13.5 times 3.5, all right, equals, and then operating pressure, so times 150, equals and then divide that by two so we're looking at 36 or 3.6 tons so big difference and the reason being is because this part of the bag is not touching the load so what you're going to get is you're going to get what's called a pillow effect this is going to inflate big this is going to stay uh compressed or deep or down and it ain't going to work what happens if the weight is over that what happens if this is let's say four tons well it's not going to lift so the Object to lifting has to touch the surface of the bag for area to get the oper or for the, the operating pressure to get the to get it to lift. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just inflate this bag. This is red, and we'll show you what happens when it inflates or it gets big. All right, the, the basketball effect. So as you can see now, we lost. It's not fully inflated. We'll go a little bit higher. Let's say we're here. We lost surface contact. So if I take this just for demonstration if I take it and make my marks here and let's say make my mark here between these two marks right now the distance that I'm lifting is only going to be let's say six inches by three and a half so in order to get that height of lift with this bag I would have to go six times 3.5 equals times the operating pressure of 150 equals and then that's the poundage obviously if i want it in tonnage divided by two all right so i'm at 1.5 tons that's a big difference from between 13.7 to 1.5 so a lot of people use these bags and they're like man these things can't lift what they say they lift and that's the reason why it's all based on service contact so let's talk about this bag over here so this bag same width but longer same things apply if I measure across, we're at 13 and a half. If I measure this way, we're at, let's say we're at 19 and a quarter. Let's say 19 and a quarter. All right, so we'll come back over here to the, our calculator. 13.5 times 19.25 equals, and then we're gonna multiply that by our operating pressure. All right, so that is in pounds and we're going to divide that by two for tonnage so you guys can see what we're talking about so we're at 19.4 and this says is that 19 tons so so it's probably off just by a little bit but you get you get the idea 
So if this is the same piece of material that we're trying to lift, you notice that this bag is longer, right? So we capture more of the material for this object, whatever it may be. So that's going to increase our surface contact. But what you don't want to do is use this bag and then turn, put your load this way. If I put my load that way, I'm, I might as well just use this smaller bag because I'm using, it's the same effect. I'm still using it by the 13 and a half inches in length. So I don't gain anything that way, all right? So same thing as, as if I'm lifting this object and let's say I turn it on its side. Now I'm even less because now the only surface contact I have is an inch and a half. It's not three and a half. This way it'd be an inch and a half. So that's just a short video on